My one small hope for you today is this. Don't let life happen to you. What I mean by that is, don't just exist in the space you occupy. I hope you really, truly live. When you wake up, I hope that you are grateful for a fresh start. I hope you notice your breath going in and out, and I hope you feel lucky to be alive. And then I hope you step outside and notice the way saying hello to a stranger can make a smile reach their eyes. I hope that you actively choose, in every passing moment, to reach for what ignites a fire inside of you. If it is a dream, pursue it relentlessly. We may not get a chance to build every second of our life with every person we love, but somehow, with every passing day, we feel our lives being built around their affection. Maybe that's what the truest form of love is all about, being felt when it can't be seen. As someone who spent her entire life trying to please others, I'm not telling you to stop straight away, but what I am saying is this. Learn to accept how destructive it is to seek validation from others. It becomes so toxic to a point where you need to be complimented or appreciated or told, I value you in order for your existence to make sense. I have done this my entire life, where I've looked to people around me to tell me that I'm doing well, to affirm my dreams and goals, to confirm that I've come a long way, for me to believe it too. And this led to me losing so many people as I grew up, because I decided to stop seeking that external validation. Because suddenly, our relationship didn't make sense. Am I no longer needing them for affirmation meant they had to assess their role in my life to someone who was equal to me, and they couldn't accept that. People whom you look at for constant validation start to believe that they are better than you, that you need them, that if they weren't around, you wouldn't be able to function normally. And when you take that power away from them, neither of your roles make sense anymore. So before it's too late, and you lose some of the most important relationships of your life, slowly start to validate yourself and create a new role for others. One that takes your worth without their affirmation into consideration, and that maintained attitude that gets you there. So that you think from your wish fulfilled instead of thinking about your wish, aided by assuming the feeling of the wish fulfilled frequently. It is the frequency, not the length of time that makes it natural. You see this because true and lasting love is here for you. If your question was about a specific person, then this card serves as validation of the relationship's divine nature. This individual has genuine love for you and you both can overcome the issues that arise. This is especially the case if you can express your feelings through attributes such as kindness, compassion, and courtesy toward each other. For instance, having honest conversations would be an expression of your true love, even if it involves discussing uncomfortable topics. You're currently seeking a relationship. This card offers you assurance that true love is on its way. Keep the faith that a wonderful relationship is destined to come to you, and don't compromise with an unsuitable partner. Type yes if you believe in God. God bless you.